from Burke Tar Stadium in Jefferson City, Metro 26 Sports is proud to present the best of NAIA college football as the Eagles of Carson Newman take on the Wofford Terriers. This game is brought to you in part by J.C. Penny. And by First People's Bank of Jefferson County, where you're number one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hal Wanzer along with David Shirk at Burke Tar Field in Jefferson City, Tennessee, the campus of Carson Newman College. And we'll be getting ready for the kickoff of the game between the Wofford Terriers and the Carson Newman Eagles. David? Well, how <clears throat> Carson Newman comes into the game uh, with a couple of impressive victories over Clark College of Atlanta. And then last week they went up and beat a pretty good Liberty Baptist team by a couple of touchdowns. Wofford has played an awfully tough schedule so far. They've played a couple of uh, the better teams in this part of the country. They lost their first one to Clemson by uh, score 45 to 10. Then a tough one point loss to Davidson, 22 to 21. They came back last week and beat Lenore Ride 34 to 19. So we should have a pretty exciting game tonight. And we'll be back with more from Berktar Stadium and Carson Newman College in just a moment. Perk up your fall outfits with a trip to J.C. Penney's. For example, fashion denim Gitano jeans in junior sizes 5 to 15 with a great assortment of pocket treatments. These famous Gitano jeans for $22. They look great with our plaid shirts. And a special buy on contemporary vests of genuine cowhide priced at only $12.99. Mix them up for great casual wear now at J.C. Penney's. I thought cons was good. Uh, I couldn't, didn't believe they could put that good of meat in there. <laughs> Shoppers at this store were really surprised to see what goes into cons beef franks. This is good. <laughs> if this type of meat is in this hot dog, then it's good meat. I didn't know they were that good. <laughs> I knew they were good with that. Only first quality cuts of beef. No fillers ever with cons. Cons friend was new to me, but I've used it in a lot. I trust cons. <laughs> great meat makes great franks. Depend on cons. Well, we're back here at uh, Berktar Stadium in Jefferson City. Talk a little bit about Wofford College. They're from Spartanburg, South Carolina, with an enrollment of about 1,100. And they play some uh, pretty uh, heavyweights. In fact, as you said, no Clemson, David. Uh, they scored 10 points against Clemson in the first half, which was better than Georgia, actually, but they did lose the game 45 to 10. And, of course, Davidson is also a pretty tough ball club. Last year when these two teams met, Hall, it was down in Spartanburg, and Wofford came away with a 28 to 14 victory. But Ken Sparks has most of his guys back. A couple of guys that we want to let you know about early that you're going to be seeing a lot of tonight are a couple of the finest running backs you'll see in any level of college football for Carson Newman. Number four, Van Williams. The San Francisco 49ers say Williams may be a first-round draft pick in the NFL draft. And his running mate back there is number 23, Boyce Green, and he can motor as well. Oh, this fullback, Bernard Wilson, who will be uh, number 31. He was named South Carolina back of the week. His performance, 129 yards on 17 carries and two DDs uh, last week against Lenore Ryan. Also linebacker Ronnie Ray, he led the Terrier defense with 12 tackles. And as you said earlier, Carson Newman has two victories. They beat uh, Liberty Baptist and they also beat uh, Clark. So they're 2-0 going into this game. So it could be a pretty interesting evening all the way around, David. Well, Carson Newman, of course, uh, their quarterback, their fine quarterback, uh, well, a couple of quarterbacks they had got hurt early. Jay Andrews is going to be going tonight, most likely. It's number 11. Uh, they lost uh, the, one of their quarterbacks last week with a separated shoulder. But both of these teams are basically your veer option type teams. Uh, Wofford runs what they like to call a wing bone. It's, a, it's kind of a wishbone set with a broken bone like Alabama uses. Yeah. Yeah. And Carson Newman uh, likes to run the veer. Coach Ken Sparks is a big, big advocate of the veer offense. And uh, I hope that sun gets down behind the stage. Just about ready quick. to go down. By the way, Wofford leads in this series 8-4-0. That's going back to 1922, which was quite a few time, uh, years ago. In 1980, uh, Wofford and Carson Newman was known as the Battle of the Unbeatens at that time. The Terriers ended that game 3-0. They were ranked 8th. Carson Newman was 2-0. They were ranked 12th. Uh, Wofford scored two touchdowns in the first 15 minutes. And then they went on to down the Eagles, as you say, 28-14. Halfback Lenny Best led the Terriers that day with 158 yards, two touchdowns. Wofford rushed for 317 yards in the victory. So uh, 
a pretty interesting schedule. Wofford, really, their schedule, uh, David, they play East Tennessee State University. They play Citadel. They play Clemson. They play Davidson. And I mean, it's just a, a potpourri of, of teams. It's NAIA, and yet it isn't NAIA. Well, how we got a fantastic-looking crowd on hand tonight. Oh, yes. It's still filing in, and it's uh, almost full on the Carson Newman drive across the way. And it's about half full here in front of us from our vantage point on the 50-yard line on the visitor's side of the field. And it's a little bit cooler, David. Uh, it was very warm this afternoon at Neyland Stadium, as you know. But uh, Wofford coach uh, Buddy Sasser, uh, he's in his fifth year as head coach and athletic director. He posts a 23-20-3 and three mark. And we all know about Ken Sparks. He's in his second season. He posted a 7-5 record, and he had a very successful uh, tenure at uh, Farragut High School in Knox County. As you said, they run the wish uh, the wing bone, the Terriers do. It's a variation. They're averaging, David, 290.6 total yard offense per game, 213 yard rushing and 77 and a half passing. So they're, they're a pretty uh, wide open football team. Well, we'll be back with more action from tonight's Carson Newman Wofford game right after these messages. Dear Curtis Mathis, recently a tornado destroyed our home. The first thing my husband looked for was our new Curtis Mathis color TV. It was scratched up a bit, but when we plugged it in, it worked perfectly. I only wish you'd made everything else in our home. Sincerely, Martha Fulkin. We can't guarantee our televisions will survive a tornado, but we do think they'll last a long, long time. Curtis Mathis, the most expensive television in America, and worth it. The Riverdale Rollers have been eating the same candy bars for years. Hey, Rollers, want to try a Twix candy bar? Why? We've been eating the same candy bars for years. But do they have a mix? A what? A mix. Rich milk chocolate. We, we love, love chocolate. chocolate. Creamy caramel. We love caramel. And a delightful cookie crunch. Crunch? Yep, that's the mix. Twix is delicious. Twix cookie bars, the chocolate candy with the cookie crunch. Delicious. Well, back here at Jefferson City at Burke Tar Field, uh, we're going to have a capacity crowd here, David, somewhere close to 5,000 people in Jefferson City for this Carson Newman Wofford game. We might give a little indication of where we are. We're opposite the uh, press box on the 50 yard line exactly. We have cameras posted on the 240s and one here on the 50 with us. And looks like we might have a nice evening. The sun is just about to go down, so you'll be able to see across the field, David. Well, the game captains are coming out on the field across the way for the Carson Newman Eagles as the team is getting ready to race out here and get started tonight. Uh, we're a couple of minutes away from kickoff. There you see the Carson Newman mascot skipping up the sidelines there. And as you said, a good crowd. Uh, Carson Newman football uh, draws well. A lot of folks I saw coming in uh, from have been to the UT game this afternoon and came up here for the Carson Newman game tonight. And the Eagles are standing by down there under the goalpost as the crowd goes wild. The Wofford captains. Uh, coming out on the field from the other side, and uh, we're just about ready to play some football. Uh, how many kids did you see down there? About 125? <laughs> uh, there's a bunch. Uh, Carson Newman, as you can, you, if you feel folks want to count them at home, go ahead, but there's a bunch of them down here. Obviously, they would not all travel with the team. I don't know how many they, they would take, uh, David, on a Coach team. Sparks usually dresses uh, over 65, 70 players for home games. Uh, on the road games, I guess they dress about 55 or so. Well, Wofford, uh, the Wofford Terriers are a very, very tough ball club. They're ranked up in the top 20 right now. And, uh, of course, Elon is going to be one of the top teams, and that'll be the last game of the season. Is that the other game? We're doing two more, Mars Hill and Elon. At that particular time, it looks like if Elon keeps on going the way they're going, it could be a, a real shootout uh, when it comes to that game. So here come the Carson Newman Eagles. The Eagles taking the field. Of course, uh, Carson Newman also ranked in the top 20 this week. But uh, Elon, the defending champion nationally, is, of yep. course, the team to beat the sack eight. But a win over a school such as Wofford tonight could do a great deal to boost the Carson Newman confidence. There you see the captains out there, Van Williams, one of the men out there for the Carson Newman Eagles. And uh, let's see if we can uh, 75 is Toby Ward, and it's hard to see the other one's number. I can't see it either. 75 uh, might be able to look on our monitor a little bit better. It's kind of tough to read it. Wofford, of course, dressed in white, trimmed in gold with black helmets, and uh, the captain's out there for the toss. As you see, SAC 8 officials wear shorts instead of long pants yep. in the warmer weather, something that uh, a lot of people don't see too often. Well, the lights are on here now, too, so as the sun go does go down, we'll be in pretty good shape. So the official flips the coin, Wofford calls it, and 
Larry Wofford Terrier is racing out on the field. It looks like Wofford may have won the toss. They won the toss, David, right. It'll be a pretty noisy Wofford Terrier crowd just below us, so the noise you hear will be that of the Wofford Terrier crowd just below us. There's a shot, as you can see, just a corner of that, the high rise that uh, one of our camera people are on. So Wofford has won the toss, and uh, they'll be getting the football first. Now we're kicking off just about a minute past when we should have, David, but uh, by and large, the sun is going down behind the big cloud over there, and we'll be, be getting underway. Okay, there you can see our vantage point looking down on us, uh, camera people, Hal, and uh, it's a pretty good view of the football game, 50-yard line seats you can't well, I do have my jacket with me, Dave, but you do not, so I may be the only warm person up here by the time that sun goes behind those clouds over there. There you see the Wofford crowd just in front of us, and that's a big ball club, uh, David. Yes, they do have some size. They, they, have, they have an excellent football team. Carson Newman looks a little bit uh, lighter uh, up and down the line uh, as far as I can see. See if we can see who that is dropping back deep for Wofford. Number 22 is Craig Best. He's back deep as they send three men back. Kicking off is Eddie Pless for Carson Newman. So we're about ready to get things underway. All right, two football games in the same day. I love it, I love it. Berktar Stadium, Jefferson City. Here we go, the kickoff, Carson Newman and Wofford. Plus approaching the ball, Carson Newman moving from left to right as you look into your screen. Beautiful kick, driving best, eight, 10 yards deep in the end zone where he downs it right there. And Carson Newman, uh, good kick by Pless and Wofford will start on their own 20 yard line, first down and 10 yards to go. The backfield for the uh, Wofford Terriers. The quarterback is number 10, Charlie Bradshaw. And back, back behind him, Anthony Gaines, number 33, and Bernard Wilson, that big fullback, number 31. The wingback is number 24, that's Wade Lang. So you set backs, Wilson, and no Gaines. 5-4-2, looks like. And they're running out of the wishbone to start with. They run several variations of the wishbone. Here's the give, second man through, breaking it out there to about the 29-yard line. A nice pickup on the play. Number 21 for Wofford, and I don't have him listed over here. 24. 24, was that 24? Right. I better use the monitor, it's hard to see their numbers out there. Number 24, that was Wade Lang carrying the football, a pickup of nine yards on the play, stopped by the center of the Carson Newman line, but Wofford charged it off real well on the first play from scrimmage. Bradshaw, your quarterback. Second down, a yard to go. They break the wishbone this time, sending a man in motion. Here's Big Wilson, the fullback, fighting his way for a first down, out past the 30 to the 31-yard line. Number 31, Bernard Wilson, that's the man to watch. He was their big gainer last, last week, as he says, Hal said he was the South Carolina back of the week last week. Split out is Mike Taylor, number 21, to this side, David. Lang and Wilson are your running backs. Bradshaw, your quarterback. This time he rides it into Bradshaw's stomach, but keeps it outside, and he's knocked down as he picked up maybe a yard. Bradshaw knocked down after picking up maybe one or two. It's going to bring up a second down. We'll call it a long eight, maybe nine yards to go. That time running the option, but Carson Newman defense stringing it out very well. This time they operate out of the wishbone. Wilson, the fullback, he's the close man. Flanker out to the left. Here's the give, cutting right back through there is Lang, and he crossed the 35 to about the 39-yard line, pickup of about six yards. Thirteen minutes, 12 seconds left to go in the first period of play. If you just joined us, so Wofford took the opening kickoff. Started on their 20, they got one first down, they're looking at a third down and four situation here. Full house backfield, Bradshaw the quarterback. Here's the fake to Wilson, a fumble, Carson Newman's got it. Let's see who comes up with it. Carson Newman's got it, number 27, huh? Marty Walker. Marty Walker got in there in a hurry as that time the quarterback kind of lost control of it as he tried to hand it off to the second man. And Walker jumping on top of the ball and Carson Newman gets the first break of the night. They sure did. Uh, Walker jumped on that. It's first and ten. 
So Carson Newman, uh, Junior J. Andrews operating at quarterback. He's number 11. Four is Van Williams. He's the guy to watch. Number one, Hugh Ratledge is in there. So Ratledge and Williams are setbacks. Here's the pitch. Here's Ratledge. No way. And he's caught behind the line, but he breaks free. Gets out past the 40. And a good piece of running. He did that on his own now. There's a whole slew of uh, number 41 led the charge on that one for. That would be Curtis Patterson coming in to make the stop on him. He looked like he was going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage, yeah. but he cut it wide, kept his balance, picked up about a hit. yard. Second down, we'll call it eight yards to go for the Eagles. Now they have Ratledge in there. Shot, no, that's Boyce no, Green. Right. Boyce Green with Williams, the eye back. Now they go into the split backfield, a shift by the Eagles. Here's Andrews, and there's a flag on the play as he gives the ball to Van Williams, and Williams not much there as he was stacked up by the whole right side of the Wofford line. Might have had a man in motion that time. It looked like it. it looked like it. Williams carrying on the tackle of Fred Hamilton, and of course we have penalty markers. So we'll wait and see what the call is. It's going to be against Carson Newman as the officials are talking it over with the Wofford captain. See if they want to take the play or take the penalty. It's an motion. illegal man in motion for Carson Newman to climb. They only picked up about a yard on the play anyway, so it's going to bring up a third down and eight. They're going to keep it, but down the same. Carson Newman, after picking up a Wofford fumble, has it now. Third down, eight yards to go on the 36-yard line of the Terriers. Good opportunity for him, David, if they could cash in on it. Brian Bell split out wide to the right. Andrews, the quarterback. Andrews on the fake to Williams. He's going to keep, and he's not going to get much. He's going to get it down inside the 30 to about the 29-yard line. But if that is not enough for a first down, it's going to bring up a fourth down. And I guess if you're Coach Sparks, you got to be thinking about going for it at this, this deep in their territory. Well, they got fourth and a long three. A long three, Dave, so it's, it's going to be a long way to go. They're going for it, obviously. Yes, they are. Watch out for Mr. Williams. He's number four. Boris Green, the other setback. <laughs> right side of the field, strong side to the right. Jay Andrews looking over the defense. And uh -oh. he's going to be caught and thrown down and stopped by Wofford. As he only got about a yard as he just dug it up in there. But Wofford had that play well defensed out. They certainly did. They, very, they got a big line, David. I don't know what kind of uh, weight they have up front there. A very, very big defensive line. So it'll be first and 10, they picked up a little bit. The last uh, got to about the 38-yard line. Now they're back to their 30-yard line on their second uh, offensive formation for the Wofford Terriers. <laughs> well, they didn't. The far side of the field. They didn't give up any points after losing that fumble. And, no, of course, did. Carson Newman really did want to cash in there, but weren't able to. Bradshaw, the quarterback, Lang, one of the running backs, along with Wilson. Here's the sweep to the wide side. Lang and see that for coming in there. It looked like number 47 or 27, Marty Walker. He's the man who got fumbled a moment ago. And he just flat whipped the blocker on that one. Dropped them back to the 26-yard line. Loss of, we'll call it, about four. It's going to bring up a second down and 14 yards to go for Wofford. If you just joined us, 10 minutes, 44 seconds left. We're still in the first period of play. Carson Newman against Wofford live on WTVK. Here's Bradshaw, a little wing back reverse. That's Lang, who was slotted out to the thrown down. Big defensive play over there, number 88, Jerome Taylor. Taylor just would not be moved by the blocker. The defense is tough in the second series. Uh, Lopper's shot on the 30, they're now back to the 22 yard line, David, so they've lost eight yards. So Wilson and Gaines will be your running backs this time. Wofford uh, be digging themselves a hole. It's third down, 17 yards to go. And we might be seeing our first pass of the evening here in just a moment. Bradshaw, the quarterback. One man split out wide to the left. Here comes Lang in motion. Now, they're going to give it inside to Lang. Lang fights it over the 25 out to about the 28-yard line, where it'll bring up fourth down and a long way to go. And Carson Newman will be getting the football back. Well, they lost some yardage on that, David. Hugh Radledge back deep for Carson Newman. Also number 22, Steve Mills. So it's Mills and Ratledge. They're on about their own 30, Dave. Don Harrison, a kicker for Wofford College. Good snap. 
Nice kick. Nice floating spiral coming down fair here. Catch. Call for a fair catch. Rabbit should have caught the ball. He lost about six yards by not catching it. So we'll be back with more action for tonight's Carson Newman Whopper game after these messages. Tis the season to give a fox that J.C. Penny shirt with the same look, same fabric, same fit as its higher priced competitor. The fox comes in a forest full of untamed colors. The fox is versatile, adapting to any environment. The fox is easy, needing minimal care. And there's a fox for women, too. The sleek, sophisticated J.C. Penny fox. What a cunning gift idea. See you later, alligator. You may not be thinking about pizza first thing in the morning, but at Pizza Hut, we're thinking about you. We start out pretty early at Pizza Hut, so the dough has time to rise. Chopping up the toppings, oh, so we're ready for your order. Ah, oven fresh, just for you at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurant. Your hometown Pizza Hut. Ah. Well, nine minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score. Carson Newman and Wofford. And uh, Carson Newman with the ball on their own 28-yard line, 29-yard line. David? First down, 10 yards to go. Jay Andrews, the quarterback, the deep back, the eye back is number four. That's Van Williams. Looks like Radledge also in there, number one. So Radledge and Williams, now they move into the split backfield. Slot man to the left. They give it to Van Williams, and I'll tell you what, Williams is going to draw a lot, of, a lot of people anywhere he goes on the football field because everyone knows what a player he is. That nose guard, number 51, just stopped him dead, and uh, that was Donnie Bay who got in there and made the tackle for Wofford. It's a nice night. I'm glad I've got my jacket, David. <laughs> Second down, nine yards to go. We're early in the first period. No score. Wofford and Carson Newman. Carson Newman threatening once early after recovering a Wofford fumble, but their drive stalled at about the 29-yard line. Here's the right fake. The gut. Just give to the first man through. A pretty good fake by Andrews because he did fool one guy, but it didn't pick up too much yardage. And it was given to Boyce Green, and Green fought his way forward. We'll call it a gain of about three out to the 33-yard line. So third and four, Dave. Just about all on five. So Carson Newman, as you can see, very colorful uniforms, the orange and blue colors. Gold and white and black for Wofford. So third down, we'll call it six yards to go. Andrews, who missed the first couple of ball games, well, he played a little bit last week, and that's going to probably be too much time or somebody moved. Andrews uh, was the starting quarterback last year, but he missed the Clark game due to uh, an injury, and he came in last week after an injury to his understudy. Eight eagle motion, David, a penalty, five-yard penalty. <coughs> You'd almost bet that Wofford's going to take this one and push yeah. him back, make it a third down and long. I'd like to see him go to the air with it. The only other penalty was declined. It was against uh, Carson Newman also, so that marches it back to about the 28-yard line, David. They start on their 30 or 29. They're now back to the 28. So both teams have a second time in possession for Carson Newman, and Wofford's had it twice. They haven't moved the ball either. So it's third down. We'll call it 10 yards to go. Just under the eight-minute mark remaining in the first quarter of play. Carson Newman, Wofford, live from Jefferson City. Here's to give to the first man through. That's Williams. Williams fights his way over the 30 to about the 34-yard line before he's finally knocked down. They'll make that voice green, number 23. So Green knocked down, and the Wofford fans give their defense a hand as they stopped him without giving up a first down, and they should get it in fairly decent field position. That's Tony Painter. He's a 170-pound senior. He came in there very well. So it'll be another the first punt for Carson Newman. So Carson Newman ready to kick. That's Stanton. He used to play at the University of Tennessee, Bobby Stanton. Here's his long floating kick. spiral. Ball is taken. Uh -oh. There's a Man's got a little run, and he got it out past the 35 to about the 38-yard line. Uh, very nice return there. That was number seven. We don't have him listed on the depth chart, so we'll have to look him up. Number seven is uh, Tim Renfro. So a nice return, and Wofford has steadily been gaining field position, but the Carson Newman defense has held up well so far. They're back where they were uh, in the first, first period, earlier in the first period, when they first had the ball. 38-yard line, first and 10. Give to the second man through. That's the tailback. Up over the 40 to the 44. A nice hard bit of running there by the tailback, Anthony Gaines. And a first down. 
Not quite. Right, it's going to be quite. second Long down, side. and we'll call it four to go. They got to move it out to about the 48-yard line to get a first down. They've got it on the on the 44 right now, just past the 44-yard line. Bradshaw, the quarterback, give to the second man through. That's Gaines again, and Gaines is swarmed under as he crossed the 45 out to. They're going to mark it at the 46 or 47. I don't think he got enough for the no. first down. Led by number 88, uh, David. Number 88 is Jerome Taylor for Carson Newman. So we may want to take a look and have a measurement here. The officials looking at it, but from my vantage point, it looks to be a pretty little close. bit short. It's pretty close. We're just about in front of us, David. Uh, they're going to mark it. They're going to take a look at it. But uh, Wofford's had to put one first down. Carson Newman has yet to uh, register a first down. Both teams are uh, very much ground oriented. We have yet yes. to see a pass. Made it by, a, no, a little bit. Short by the length of a football. <coughs> So we'll call it about two feet short, third down, and just inches to go for Wofford for a first down. I know near midfield, they've yet to have the ball in Carson Newman territory. A fumble early when they look like they were moving the ball pretty well. You can bet they'll go with that full house backfield. You might want to watch for the big fullback there, Bernard Wilson. Wilson and Gaines and Lang are your running backs behind Bradshaw. Here's the give. This is Lang over the 50. First down, Wofford in Carson Newman territory at the 47-yard line. Nice tackle made in there by Dwayne Walls, number 77, but uh, I'll tell you, Wofford is just just pushing it right up the gut. They've got a big line, David. Looks like they outweigh Carson Newman by a few pounds, at least 20 pounds a man, looks like. Strong right this time. This time they break the bone. They send a man in motion out to the right. Lang is split to the left. Pass, and pass, looking pass. to throw. He's got time. He's got a man coming out of the backfield. That's Gaines, and he got very little, if anything. As a good defensive play up there, number 27, Marty Walker, whose name we've called quite a bit tonight, Hal. Yeah. Well, they've thrown once and they've completed once. Picked up about, we'll say a yard on the play. It's going to bring up uh, second down, nine yards to go. A little flare pass out here. Good uh, coverage by the Carson Newman sec secondary. Bradshaw, the quarterback, broken bone again. Here's Wilson. There's Wilson. There's a flag oh, down too. He got across the 40 yard middle. line. Marty Walker once again in there for Carson Newman. But uh, we might have had a holding call. I think number 77 was holding for a Well, you, know, you hate to identify those offensive linemen when they, <laughs> when they do that. It's the only time they get their name calls when they hold. Well, he uh, put his head down and shook his head as the, uh, the referee right in the middle with the white hat is going to be stepped off against him. And just as it looked like Wofford was moving the football, they had it down there inside the Carson Newman 40. They get a 15-yard step off, and those are the kind of coaches hate. That was a, a nice run. It would have been ended up being a little bit uh, short of a first down by about two yards. But they're back now to the 47-yard line. So second down, 16 yards to go. Let's see if Wofford puts it in the air. They've shown that they really don't like to throw the football that much. Taylor to split in out to the left. He's going to throw it. <coughs> Bradshaw looking. A back out of the back. Oh, oh, oh. Wilson. Wilson passed the 45 down to the 44. So they got back most of uh, what they lost on the penalty. That's two for two in the passing department. Of course, the first one was only good for a yard. That was a pickup of about uh, eight or nine yards on that one. It was back up to the 44-yard line. Still got a long way to go. Seven yards to get a first down. This time being split out to the right, number 21, Mike Taylor. Here's Another Bradshaw pass. again. He's dropping just straight back. A lot of pressure on him. He fires it down the middle, and it's almost picked off. Good defensive play coming in there, number 24 for Carson Newman, the cornerback James Barnes. Also number 22, Steve Mills. Free safety came up there very quickly. Steve Mills going back to get the punt. Oh, he's two for three in the passing department. I tell you what, he had to hurry that throw just a little bit, and he almost got it picked off. He threw it in the crowd. Yeah. Steve Mills is back on about his own five, a uh, ten-yard line. Four minutes, 34 seconds left to go in the first period of play. No score. Wofford and Carson Newman. Hope you're enjoying it live from Jefferson City. Nice Here's kick. Here's the punt. That's nice a kick. deep one. He's going to let it go. Hope it goes in the end zone. It hits at about the five-yard line, and it's down right there on the one-yard line. So we're we'll back with more action in the Carson Newman Wofford game after these messages.
card every visit. Save them up. Get 21 and win fries, a Coke, a Whopper, or great cash prizes. $2,100! Yes, 21! <laughs> Get the ace and jack of spades and win... $250! J.C. Penney Auto Centers, we won't give you the business because we want to keep your business. They didn't sell me the J.C. Penney battery. They said the five-year battery was powerful enough for my car. It was. I thought I needed new shock absorbers. They told me my tires were too hard. I came in for fiberglass belted radios. They told me with the kind of driving I do, steel belts would save me money in the long run. They did. J.C. Penney Auto Centers, we won't steal you wrong. Well, back here at uh, Burke Tar Stadium, we're ready to go. Uh, it's still the first quarter of play. We have four minutes and 22 seconds to play, and there's no score. And the ball is on the Carson in one yard line. They've got 99 yards to go, David. Looks like 99 and a half. That looks like he got it down there inside the one yard line. This is where you've got to be uh, very careful. You don't want to make a mistake here because it costs you points. We'll see better on the TV monitor, I think, on this one, David. I think Andrews may just run a sneak here just to try to wedge his way out and get some running room. You don't want to get caught for that safety and give up those two points. Long count. Andrews. He's in the Let's see. They're going to mark his forward progress just oh. across the goal line. That was awfully close. And Andrews, that's that kind of a dangerous little option play to be running down there in your own backyard like that. Was that was a charitable call by the referee that time, I think. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's hard to tell from here, yeah. but uh, they said that he managed to wedge his way out there. So it's still going to be second down, 10 yards to go, and he didn't gain a thing on that. He might have lost a little bit. Well, it's mighty close to that end zone, as you can see it. In fact, you can see it better than we can. Here he goes. Here comes Andrews. Oh, he's down. He's down. Oh, oh, he's down. down. for a safety, and Wofford jumps on top by a score of 2 to nothing. And uh, got to question that call there. I, I would have thought they might want to wedge it out a little bit before they tried some of that wide stuff. Well, it's not, it's not only bad enough to give a safety up, David, but you've got to kick the ball away. That's, That's what right. really makes it rough. You kick it from your own 20-yard line, too, and that should give Wofford excellent field position. As I say, Wofford did play an awfully good game against Clemson for the first half, but they ran out of spit because Clemson is <laughs> quite a big ball club, as you know. They went down and beat Tulane. They came right back and beat Georgia, and they're a pretty good ball club. That's the kind of thing that really gets your defense fired up when you get a safety like that. You don't see them too often. So it'll be a free kick. And uh, it's two zip, Wofford on top, and we have just three minutes, 45 seconds to go in this first quarter of play. We're from Jefferson City, Tennessee, on WTVK, TV 26, for the Carson Newman Wofford football game. Well, Lang drops back there with Tim May, number 32, and another running back coming on to receive the kick is Craig Best. Best is the man back deep, and Bobby Stanton, and well, they're going to go with their place kicker. You know, you have the option here of punting or place kicking. I guess they decided their place kicker is uh, the one with the stronger leg. That's Eddie Pless. So they got in there to kick. I'm interested in those sack officials in their uniforms. I <laughs> wonder what it's like in the wintertime. I'm sure they go to the longer pants. Do they? Almost looks like a soccer game. Here's the kick. Nice high one. Nice high end over end kick. Should get good coverage. 25. Picking it up with 25 oh. yard line. That's best. And he's knocked down as he crosses the 35 yard line out to about the 37. And Carson Newman really couldn't have come out much better than that. No, they were very fortunate. First, uh, first and 10 on the 37 yard line. Wofford on top, two to nothing, at Bergtar Fieldhouse, uh, field I should say, in Jefferson City. And Wofford right now is a little bit fired up. Well, Wilson and uh, Lenny Best. <clears throat> be your running backs in there behind Bradshaw, the quarterback. Lang also back there in the wishbone. Here's a give to the first man through Wilson, and he got about a yard, and he really got popped. And there, real quick, was Dwayne Wells, number twenty, number seventy-seven. He was one of the first guys there, and he really hit him. He had a uh, picked up a tough two yards, David. A tough two yards to the forty. Second down, we'll call it. Uh, well, a, a short, short nine, long eight. <coughs> both these teams are very ground-oriented. Well, they both like to run the option game. Neither team really mounting much offense so far. Bradshaw dropping back to pass again. He's looking deep. He's throwing for best. He overthrows him down here at about the 35-yard line of the Eagles. 
but good coverage once again by Marty Walker, and Walker showed me something tonight. Yeah, he looked very good. Now. He co covered the man real well, real well. The man was out of bounds, of course, even if the ball had been there. So Wofford, after shunning the passing game early, has started to put the football up in the air here late in the first period. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. The score, Wofford two, Carson Newman nothing. He's two for four in the passing department, David. They've only had two first downs, both of them by Wofford in the first quarter. Man in motion, that's Lang. Going back to pass. Run, rolling out. He's looking for Lang. He's going to have to run with it, and he's going to get thrown down at about the 43-yard line as Bradshaw rolling out to the right. And once again, you got to give that Carson Newman secondary a lot of credit because they did a great job over there. Number 88, there on the John tackle. Taylor. Bradshaw just didn't have a man open downfield, so that's yeah. going to bring up a fourth down. We'll call it five yards to go, and they're going to have to kick it away. And Carson Newman came out of that pretty good after giving up that safety. Big Jerome Taylor, defensive end, really left defensive end, really threw him down like a sack of potatoes. Another punt, third punt for Wofford. Uh-oh, close. Marshall, fair catch. Kick, Ratledge calling for the fair catch. Once again, he lets it bounce, and he's going to get a Wofford bounce down inside the 15-yard line. They're going to mark it on right about the 16, 17-yard line. No, this 12-yard line, you're right. It's kind of tough to see from this angle, Dave. Put on the 12. Well, that's better than the one where they were last time. Thus far, the Eagles haven't had a first down. They've been penalized, and they had a safety. Andrews was thrown in the end zone for a safety, so it's 2 nothing, and we have 2 minutes, 11 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. Well, they marked the ball on the 11-yard line where Carson Newman will have it. Like you said, that's better than last time when it was on the one. A couple of times they've let kicks hit the ground, and uh, Wofford's been getting the benefit of the bounces down there. It's a good right. roll. Radledge and Williams, your running backs behind Jay Andrews. Andrews, a junior quarterback out of Georgia. He's going to have time, call if he doesn't hurry. Here's the give. No, Andrews keeps it. He faked me off, but he didn't fake off much of the Wofford team. He got about four yards out there. As that time he went left, he faked the handoff to Radledge, and Andrews looks like he might be down. Yeah, he's. Andrews has had uh, a little some problems, injury problems already this year. And they could ill afford to lose him. Then they'd be down to their third teamer. Well, there was an uh, opportune time for the Carson Newman Eagles early in the game. In the first quarter, they took the ball on about the 38-yard line, got down to about the 30, and then that was it. And the Whopper took over once again. The Whoppers had possession uh, four times, and this is the one, two, three, four time, fourth time for Carson Newman. And Carson Newman has not been able to move that ball one, uh, one way or the other. They've gained a total of about 15 to 20 yards. That's about it. So Andrew's still down. The trainer's out there having a look. We got a minute and 59 seconds left to go here in the first quarter, and uh, Jay is going to be assisted off the field. Let's see who they go with. Uh, the next man listed on the chart, number 19, is Brad Bell. <clears throat> and that's it who's Brad Bell coming in. Jay Andrews, let's see uh, if they take him to the dressing room or. I think he just uh, had his bell rung there, Dave. <coughs> uh, wind knocked out of him, looks like. So young Brad Bell is in there, and uh, this is a tough situation to be in. Second down, seven yards to go. Carson Newman with it. Got the ball out around the, their own 15-yard line. Here's Bell. And we got uh, penalty flags down as Radlitz broke it for about five yards. I think there was some movement on the Carson Newman offensive line, David. Well, that happens quite often when you get a new signal caller in there. The cadence is, everybody's cadence is a little bit different, and uh, that happens to you occasionally. Another penalty. <coughs> the three penalties called in the game, one was declined uh, against Carson Newman, and two, this is the second five-yarder. So Illegal second, motion. Second down, 11 yards to go. The official's talking it over down there. Minute 43 to go in the first quarter of play. We're at Burktar Stadium. Burke Tar Field, I should say, in Jefferson City. Second down, 11 yards to go. Bell, your quarterback, your deep back back there. Number four is Van Williams. Here's the give to Williams, deep in his own backfield. He breaks a couple of tackles, gets it out past the 10 to about the 12-yard line. As Van Williams, number four, he's their bread and butter man. Tackle that time made by Floyd Pittman, number 73. <laughs> Excuse me. Third down, nine yards to go. Let's see if the Eagles want to put it up deep in their own territory or just try to run it out of there. Looks like they've got a, a faster defensive back in there. Number seven just came in for Wofford. 
you know, Carson Newman with men split out to both sides, split backfield. Bell's the quarterback under center. Here's a pitch deep. Van Williams trying to get it outside. And he lost it. Oh, hit ball, and it looks like maybe Wofford came up with it. Yes, Wofford recovers, and that's a damaging blow for Carson Newman as Williams uh, picked up about seven or eight yards as he went outside, but then he lost control of the football, and Wofford comes up with it down around the 24-yard line where they'll have it first down and 10 yards to go. So, mistakes are costing the Eagles so far this evening. That's two of them. Got caught with a safety, and then they uh, drop a fumble. First down, 10 yards to go. One side, one minute left to go in the first period. Here's the give to Gaines, and Gaines fights his way up into the middle in there. But the whole center of that Carson Newman defensive line in there, linebacker Tim Young, along with Lamar Brown and uh, Lou Paradio. Number 51, Lou uh, Paradiso, was in there. Very tight, very tough for Carson Newman. Pick up a couple yards, second down, eight yards to go. He just joined us. Wofford leads by virtue of a safety, two to nothing over the Eagles. Eagles yet to make a first down. They've mounted no offense tonight. Here's the game to Gaines. Gaines breaks it as he fights his way down inside the 20 to about inside the 15-yard yeah. line. Once again, getting in there to make the tackle was Marty Walker from his cornerback position, but that was a big hole they opened for him that time. They're going to measure and see if he made the first down. 19 it's seconds close. to go in the first period of play. No, sir, he's a little bit short, looks like. So they'll bring up third down, and we'll call it just inches to go. Well, it's getting cool, David, and my jacket's going on momentarily here. So Wofford, after recovering a fumble of the 25, in the vicinity of the 25-yard line, has marched it down just inside the 15 there. Just inches away, here's Bradshaw on the give to the fullback, Wilson. Wilson looks like he got plenty like enough for the first down. Oh, boys, a lot of struggling down there. Looked like he picked up about four yards. Tackle made in there by big number 88, Jerome Taylor, but it's still good enough for a Wofford first down. It'll be first down and 10 yards to go at about the 11-yard line. And that's the end of the first period of play. So with the score, Wofford 2, Carson Newman, nothing will be back with more action after these messages. You know that Druthers is the place when you don't have the time to waste. Where you can satisfy most any taste you have. Quick and easy. The chicken is as quick as is a burger. And the fish is just as quick. And quite delicious, I might add. Quick and easy. Get a salad in a hurry. Even breakfast is no worry. What you want, the way you want it, when you want. At Druthers, you'll discover... We're better than the others. Come find it all at Druthers Restaurant. Quick and easy. I'd rather go to Druthers Restaurant. Homework, homework, give me a break. Try Summit Candy Bars, a delicious break anytime. Crunchy roasted peanuts, lots of rich chocolate, and a crispy center. Summit, a delicious break anytime. Hey, you want to go to the game? Guys, give me a break. <laughs> Summit Candy Bars, a crisp, delicious break anytime. Second quarter of play, and it's Wofford two and Carson Newman nothing. Ball on the 11-yard line of the Eagles, and here's Dave. The first down at 10 yards to go for Wofford after recovering a fumble at the Carson Newman 25-yard line. Terriers have marched for one first down, and they're knocking on the door down there right now. They already lead two to nothing. Carson Newman's quarterback, Jay Andrews, caught earlier in the game for safety. That's been the only scoring so far. Here's Gaines running it right up the middle inside the five down to about the four-yard line. And they're starting to open up some holes to that Carson Newman line. Yes, they are. Down to the four-yard line. We'll call it second down and about three yards to go. They've got to get it down to the one for a first down. Carson Newman making some defensive changes, taking out one of the backs and putting in another lineman. 
And here's the give right away, banging his way forward and all the way down to what looks like might be a first down. That was number 31, Bernard Wilson, the big fullback. He just dove in there. We're going to call it second down. Or make it third down, maybe. Oh, they're going to measure again. He's awfully close. Looks like a tough night for the home team right now, David. So far, it's been all Wofford. Carson Newman uh, yet to come up with a first down in the, in the football game. Yes, they haven't had a first down. They punted uh, once. So it's first down and goal to go, and that's where you like to have four shots from, down around the one-yard line. And that's only the third first down of the night. And all of them are by Wofford. Some of the crowd here, as you can see. Oh, yeah, we got a great crowd on hand here tonight. It's a beautiful night for football. Quarterback is Bradshaw. Give to Lang. Lang, touchdown. Is that best or Lang? That looked like Wade Lang, I believe. Those numbers are most difficult to they read. They really are. Wade Lang, 24. I believe that's who it was. So the Wofford Terriers pick up a fumble at the 25-yard line and take it all the way in for six points. Score now is eight to nothing. Low snap from center, but the conversion is up, and it's good. He kicked it into the weeds out there, Dave. He certainly did, all the way out of the stadium. So as you see on the scoreboard, Wofford leading Carson Newman by a score of nine to nothing as their score comes less than a minute deep in the second period of play. That was number 24. He, he's very happy on the sideline right now. So Wade Lang just dove it on in there from the one-yard line, and Wofford's opened up a 9 to nothing advantage over the Carson Newman Eagles. We'll see whether or not the quarterback comes back in the second uh, in the offense, David. Of course, Andrews was shaken up the last time, but uh, the Brad. fumble really cost him. A couple yeah. of mistakes has really hurt so far. See whether or not Brad, uh, Jay Andrews comes in for Brad Bell uh, when uh, the Eagles get the ball. Looks like number 24 and 22 back deep for Carson Newman. <clears throat> That's Steve Mills and James Barron, it looks like. That's right. Okay, I believe we're about ready to play football again. Bell and Barron back deep for Carson Newman. Here's the kick. A low, wobbly spiral. It's going oh, to bounce. bounces into the end zone. They better down it there unless he touched it. He did not touch it in the field of play. That's very dangerous. That's one of those knuckleball type kicks. It was a knuckleball. Looked like a Hoyt Wilhelm uh, long outside knuckleballer. So Carson Newman might have gotten a break there. That could have been a disaster. Yeah. So first down, 10 yards to go, Eagles, and it looks like Bell is, Brett. well, it's Andrews back in there. 19. No, it is Bell. It is Bell, Brad Bell. Andrews was shaken up a moment ago. We really don't know how serious it was. He did leave the field under his own power. Rattledge and Williams, the running backs behind Bell. Carson Newman needing to mount some offense. They've yet to make reverse. a first down, and they're running with a reverse. He needs one block over here, and he's not going to get it. Lost the ball. He lost the football, but he got it back. Carson Newman running that little uh, wide reverse that time, and uh, it just didn't work. He just had one man to beat, but he couldn't beat him. Lost about two yards on the play, David. Second yeah, and 12. Moving back to the 17, so that would bring up a second down. We'll call it 13 yards to go as things uh, pretty much going Wofford's way so far. They're a, a tough looking ball club. A very big defensive line. Bell, your quarterback. Williams going in motion to the right. Lone setback appears to be. Lost the ball. Got the football, and he got down on it, I believe, at the 15. No, Wofford's saying they've got it. I see what, yes, the official says it is. Wofford's football. And I'll tell you, when things go wrong, they just go wrong. Well, fumble by Bell on the snap. Just couldn't get the handle on it. That was Fred Hamilton who came up with the loose pigskin, number 56, and he's a mighty happy young fellow right now. 16-yard line. I'll tell you what, fumbles have killed Carson Newman so far. They've dropped it twice deep in their own territory. Let's see if Wofford cashes in on it. Bradshaw, the quarterback. Full house backfield. Here's Lang. 
to throw the action half back pass, and it's nice beautiful play. broken up down at about the one yard line. Can't read his number, no. David. Those numbers are most difficult to read. Number 89. That's Taylor again, isn't it? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Taylor got there at the last second, but it looked like the ball was going to be out of bounds anyway. If it was 88, it was Taylor, but I think it was 89. I'm not quite sure. That would be Melvin Melton. Melton. Uh, Melvin Melton, yeah. They look there physically alike. Second down, 10 yards to go. Here's a give to the second back through. It looks like Big Wilson fighting his way inside the 15 to about the 13-yard line. And I'll tell you what, Wofford is awfully big up front, both offensively and defensively, and they are moving some folks. They're blowing the line. They're blowing them off the line right now, but uh, just have to see what happens. That was a pickup of five on the last play. It's third down, five yards to go for Wofford. They've got it at the Carson Newman 12 or 13-yard line. Option. Good block. And that may be a first down. Nice block at the corner. Looked like Lang was no Wilson's the one who threw the uh, threw the block. It was Lang who ran on the option play. Yeah. Demon Wilson, uh, a junior, he really threw a block on that corner. And there's a timeout called by Wofford right now. <coughs> so we'll be back with we'll be back with more exciting action from the Carson Newman Wofford game after these messages. When I want to enjoy the ride. I take Fifth Avenue. We've hiked all over these mountains without leaving Fifth Avenue. I go all over town, but I never leave Fifth Avenue. When I'm on the road, I always say Fifth Avenue. 243 crispy layers of crunchy peanut butter drenched in real milk chocolate. Makes a candy bar so delicious, you'll never leave Fifth Avenue. When I grow up, I'm going into real estate. Right now, I'll just eat Fifth Avenue. There's one product no medicine cabinet should be without. Oh. <laughs> Alka-Seltzer. For headache and acid indigestion, nothing works better. Nothing's more soothing. Alka-Seltzer, America's home remedy. Make sure it's there when you need it. Well, back here, a timeout just about finished. Uh, time back in here with uh, 12 24 to go in the first half of play. Wofford nine and Carson Newman nothing. The ball now on about the seven yard line. Here's David. Bradshaw, the quarterback for Wofford. It's fourth down and a yard to go. Let's see what he goes with. He goes with Lang. Lang is hit. He fights his way forward. He might have gotten it up for the first down. He believe he did down inside the five yard line. This Lang's a very durable running back, Al. Yes, he is. That's fourth first down of the evening, and uh, Carson Newman has none thus far, and that's only the fourth first down of the uh, of the evening. Well, it's a lot easier when you have to drive the ball 25 to, or 16 yards than when you have to take it from your own one-yard line. They got it on the four. Here's the give to a dive back going in there to about the one. That was Wilson who ran that one, the big fullback. And he took it all the way down to about the one-yard line. There's a good crowd here. It's a sweater crowd right now. It'll be a, a coat crowd before too much longer. Second down, goal to go. Wofford at the Carson Newman one-yard line. Give to Wilson. Wilson banging and struggling, and just a good job that time by the whole center of that Carson Newman defensive line. See if it's up off the bottom down there. Number 86. Number 86 for Carson Newman. Can't find him. He's not even listed on our depth charts. No. Nonetheless, he was uh, looks like the nose guard on that play. So it's third down, one yard to go. Terriers with the football on the Carson Newman one yard line. They already lead nine to nothing. Here's the gift. Second Here's back through, and that's going to be a touchdown. Looked like Wilson again. And Wofford uh, has looked pretty impressive on the ground, Hal. Very quick, very physical. Number 33, Wilson once again uh, going in. Ant no, 33, that's uh, Anthony Gaines. It's hard I'm to sorry. see those numbers from yeah, up here. Anthony Gaines. 
So they have two touchdowns scored at one yard out, David. Gaines and Lang. And Extra the conversion point is attempt is good once again, and for the second time, the guy kicks it over the fence down there. 16 to nothing. Carson Newman needs to get something started. 11-03 <clears throat> left to go in the first half, and this Wofford defensive team has been fired up tonight. Two uh, major fumbles uh, for Carson Newman. Of course, uh, Andrews uh, caught in the end zone for a safety. Then uh, we had a, uh, a fumble on about the 25-yard line. Had another fumble by Bell. And we've only had one fumble against Wofford, and uh, they did not cost him anything. That was the only time that Carson Newman's been in Wofford's territory all evening. So it's 16 0, 11 minutes, three seconds to go in the first half of play. And it's been Wofford's uh, activities thus far. Four, four first downs, no first downs thus far for the Eagles. They've got to get them out on offense, and they have to open up a little bit. Well, Mills and Barron will be back deep to receive the kickoff, and. Uh, they need to get a good return here, Hal, to get some field position. That is something that Carson Newman uh, only enjoyed once, and that was the first time they had the football after they recovered a fumble. Most of the night, Wofford has kept them backed up pretty deep in their own territory. They recovered the fumble on the 38-yard line and moved it down to the 30, and that was it. And um, that was all she wrote. But ever since then, they've been in their own territory, and one, two, three, four possessions have been in their own territory. Five Here's possessions. Kick, and it's going back deep. Looks like Mills on the goal line is going to come out with it. Mills cutting it to the outside up to about the 20-yard line, and we may uh, have yes, sir. totally tacked onto that. Might have gotten someone for spearing, I believe. Uh, I think they are wrestling him down, David. It looked like a penalty. That's the first penalty. Uh, well, no, it was a 15-yard penalty against Wofford earlier. Thank you, pardon. So that's going to help the Eagles cause quite a bit. I think it was a, a face mask. Mills got it out from the goal line out to the 20-yard line, and then 15 onto that moves it out to the 35. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a face mask. <laughs> so Carson Newman with Bell at quarterback. Andrews shaken up earlier has not returned. We don't see him along the sideline over there, but there's so many of them, it's hard to tell. Bell running the option. Out past the 35, out to about the 37-yard line. Bell looks pretty quick on that play. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Nice block, uh, slot back. Steve Hart made a nice block on that play, number 80, for Carson Newman to uh, turn him up a little bit. Second down. Second down, we'll call it about seven yards to go for the Eagles. Midway through the second quarter. And flags and whistles, and let's see what it is. Too much time, I believe. Nope, got an illegal, illegal procedure. procedure. So that's going to cost them five yards. And you bring up a passing situation, but don't, correct me if I'm wrong, Hal, I don't think Carson Newman's thrown the ball tonight. No, they have not thrown the ball. They have, do not have a first down. They've only punted once. Wofford has four first downs. They've thrown the ball four times, completed two of four, and they punted three times. So uh, the fumbles right now are the big, the name of the game. Bell drops the ball again, picks it up. He's looking to throw. He's rolling out. He's got a man down here, and he can't hit him at about the 40-yard line. And a good stick by the cornerback. As that was the first eagle pass of the night, and that's a tough pass to throw when you're rolling out to your left like that. It was intended for Steve Hart, and he was well out of bounds on about the 40-yard line. He was really racked as he tried to bring that one down. Uh, we're having a few uh, video difficulties right now, but we'll be getting those corrected momentarily. So if you just stay with us for just a moment or so, uh, we'll be getting those straightened out momentarily. David, third down, 12 yards to go. Carson Newman, Bell rolling out to the right this time, looking down the field. Fires a pass over there. It's caught with the inbounds. No, they say he caught it out of bounds. Looked like Willie Nelson might have been the intended receiver, yes. Willie Nelson made a nice catch over there, but he didn't get those feet down in bounds. He tried. He tried. And I say, we are having some video difficulties. Please stay with us. Bear with us. Uh, we're at Carson Newman College, and the score is 16-0 with 10 minutes, three seconds to go in the first half of play from uh, Berktar Field. Well, the Wofford crowd gave their defense a standing ovation as they came off the field, and they have played well. 
Stanton's Stanton's punt. It's a wobbly spiral coming up here. Fair catch call for and made at about the 29-yard line where Walker will take over first down and 10 yards to go. So it's 16 to nothing now, and it's been a tough first half for the Eagles. Uh, they haven't mounted an offense yet. Uh, Wofford uh, had a break, of course. They had a safety, and then they had a couple of fumbles. But they've shown some stamina going down. Once they get inside the 10-yard line, they're tough. Bradshaw, your quarterback, Gaines, Wilson, and Lang in the backfield. Here's the give to the big oh, right Wilson, stick. and he just really nailed a good defensive play there for Carson Newman. Number 75. That's uh, Toby Ward. Toby Ward, left tackle. He really stuck him. Nine minutes, 34 seconds, showing on the clock. Wofford with it, second down, 10 yards to go. They got the ball at their own 29-yard line. Carson Newman needs to stop him here. They trail 16 to nothing. Bradshaw looks like he might be checking off. He's dropping back, looking to throw. He's got a man coming out of the backfield. That looks like Lang, and Lang out over the 30 to the 31, where he is knocked down and stopped by the cornerback, James Barron. They're going to have to, Carson Newman's going to have to suck it up, really, right now to stop them, uh, but they're down 16-0 at this point. Well, it's only a pickup of a couple of yards as Wofford, uh, like Carson Newman, doesn't like to throw the football. And they, in fact, most of the time when they do throw, they're throwing to the guys coming out of the backfield. Yeah, There's a lot of flare passes and a lot of uh, men coming out of the backfield. It's time to break the bone and send a man in motion back to this side of the field. Going back, no, and then run the drop to Wilson. 35, oh, and he slipped and fell down, and he might have gotten the first down out about the 38-yard line. The big Wilson, that guy, when he gets rolling, he can move. He made a good move on that one. It was a nice draw play. Ah, oh, they're saying it may not be a first down, and we have a penalty marker way back here that I didn't notice back around the original line of scrimmage. Carson Newman will get an option here. Might be a break for the Eagles at this time. I think it goes. They may have to measure to see if this is a first down before Carson Newman uh, decides what they want to do. That's exactly what they're going to do. Well, time out for a measurement as they check it out. And of course, if it's a good, if it's a first down, Carson Newman will take the penalty. It's short. It's, it's short like uh, a oh, about a foot or so short. But looks like they're still going to take the penalty. Well, Mike Watkins doing a good job on that sideline with that hand held there, Mike. So a five-yard penalty, a legal procedure against Wofford. Brings up a second down. We'll call it 11 yards to go. Or make a third down and 11 yards to go. That's 35 yards in penalties thus far against Wofford. Five yards up on against Wofford. Man in motion once again. Here's the give. They try it. Same play to the fullback, and this time it's not going to work as he is caught and stood up by the center of that Carson Newman line. The first man there was Big Mike Williams, and Big Mike just wrapped him up. Good defense. They had to they had to hold him there, David. They want to get back in this ball game, in my opinion. So they really had a they really had to hold on to him. There'll be another punt here right now. It'll be the fourth punt for the Wofford Terriers. Well, we got Ratledge out there. It looks like with. Uh, Looks like Best or Mills. It is Mills. Oh, nice oh what a beautiful nice kick. kick. Driving Ratledge all the way back to his 23-yard line. Brings it around the corner. He gets a couple of blocks. He's gone with it, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Beautiful run by Ratledge. Nice, nice return. We'll be back with more action tonight's Carson Newman Wofford game after these messages. Perk up your fall outfits with a trip to J.C. Penney's. For example, fashion denim Gitano jeans in junior sizes 5 to 15 with a great assortment of pocket treatments. These famous Gitano jeans for $22. They look great with our plaid shirts. And a special buy on contemporary vests of genuine cowhide priced at only $12.99. Mix them up for great casual wear now at J.C. Penney's. I think there's a special role for the locally owned community bank. 
At First Peoples, we think it's important to know the people of our area and to be available to listen to them. We want to be involved not only in their needs, but also in their dreams and goals. We can handle the sophisticated banking transactions too. We've got a great staff, efficient and professional, but come into our bank on Saturday and you may catch us in jeans. And you better be First ready to smile Peoples back at us. Bank, we're proud. We're proud. People make the difference. 16-0, Wofford on top of Carson Newman. Seven minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first half of play, and the ball is on the 36-yard line of the Eagles. Here's David. Well, that was a nice return by uh, Ravlage on the kick. Carson Newman with it, best field position they've enjoyed in a while. Switching now to the eye, Williams the deep back. He wears number four. This is Williams. Williams trying to break loose, and they have really swarmed him all night long now. Yeah, they strung that one out uh, pretty good. He was so deep, he was about too deep, looks like that eye back. He was back about seven yards. Alan Tuthill coming up from a strong safety position to make the tackle for Wofford on that play. Pickup of about a yard, Mr. Williams has yet to get untracked. Well, that obvi oddly enough, that same position that uh, the Eagles had in the last possession, by the way, at the 38-yard line. Video's back, thank you very much. Hand off again. Once again, Williams trying to hit it up there this time. Just right up the gut, he picks up about five yards. But you know that Wofford has to have a linebacker keying on him. Well, it's third and about, what, three or four? It's called it four yards to go, third down. Carson Newman with it, 638. Let's see if go in the first see half. If Carson Newman can get a first down here. They haven't had one yet. Young Bell, your quarterback, Andrews injured earlier, has not been back in the game, and they oh. almost drop it again. As this time, Bell collided with one of his running backs in that play, and they just knocked each other down. That was Williams. And that hurts him. That's fourth and a long two. So, probably they're going to have to punt once again. So, fourth down, we'll call it a couple of yards to go. Carson Newman going to have to kick it away. Very vocal Wofford Terrier crowd, as you can tell. They're right below us. Renfro and Tuthill back deep to receive the kick for Wofford. That's High nice booming point. spiral. Stanton really kicking it well tonight. Renfro with it at the 10. To the 15 and out to about the 17. Dropped the football. Did Carson Newman come up with it or not? Yes, they did. 15 yard line. That was a, a real break for the Eagles. Big number 76 for Carson Newman. Let's look him up. I want to see if we can find out who that young man is that came up with the fumble. The ball just seemed to lay there forever. Well, number 73, Martin Young, is who they're giving credit to. So Carson Newman with their first real break of the ball game. Bell to Williams. Down inside the 15 to about the 13-yard line. That's the second best field position they've had tonight, David. Earlier in the game, the first quarter, they took the ball on about the 30-yard uh, line, got to about the 38, and that's the best they've done. The rest of the night, they've been playing in their own ballpark. Well, let's see if Carson Newman can cash in. Wofford scoring both of their touchdowns after recovering fumbles deep in uh, Carson Newman territory. This time, the Eagles get a break. They pick up a fumble on about the 15-yard line. It's second down. We'll call it seven to go. Bell, the quarterback. Wide pitch. Ratledge, he's in trouble. He is. He's going to swing outside and finally get knocked out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Loss of about three. That gold on white's difficult to see from this angle, David. I'm trying to spot who that was. Well, it was strung out very well by the entire left side of that Wofford defense. 16 0 with 459, 457 to go in the first half of play. It's the first time Carson Newman's had an opportunity to uh, score. Somebody didn't block Carl Richardson on that play. He came in unmolested and uh, forced Ratledge to go a lot wider and deeper than he wanted to. Now roll and throw. Bell looking. Gets to the corner and slips and falls down at about the 17-yard line. Loss of a couple of yards, but Bell had uh, some clear sailing in front of him there. They're going to go with a field goal attempt. Well, a field goal would help you here. You're trailing by 16. You can cut it down to 13-point deficit. Oh, yeah. Number 36. 
in there to kick for Carson Newman, and I don't have him listed on my depth chart as the kicker, so we'll have to check him out and see who it is. Eddie, Eddie Pless. They've got him as a different number, that's why. Pless, the kicker, here's the kick. It's high enough, long enough, it's good. So Pless comes on and kicks a 35-yard field goal. Carson Newman on the board to score 16-3. Well, they broke the ice and they scored. I still don't think they haven't had a first down yet, right? No, no first downs. They have attempted two passes and uh, were incomplete on both of them. They punted three times. Uh, Wofford thus far has had four first downs, so it's been a defensive ball game, but the Eagles have been giving that ball away too much in their own territory. They've been playing in their own territory all night. Well, fumbles have led to both Wofford touchdowns and now Carson Newman gets some measure of revenge. We've got 4.15 to go in the first half, and uh, Eagles finally broke the ice and scored. Well, the score is 16 to 3. Wofford in front of Carson Newman. Craig Best back deep for Wofford. Press has really been kicking the ball deep on those kickoffs. He sure takes a running start of about 10 yards, too. Here's and the kick, he sure a can't high, kick deep one, driving Best all the way back inside his own goal out. line, and he's coming out. And Boy, they almost got him way uh -oh. back there. Penalty marker going down on the 15-yard line, David. Might have been a late hit, Hal, as he got it out to the 15. Uh, that was pretty ill-advised. I felt Best encountered some problems as far back as his own eight or nine-yard line. It's going to be a clip against Wofford. Be half the distance. That'll move it back to about the seven and a half yard line. It's 40 yard penalties uh, marched off against Wofford thus far. A total of 15 marched off against uh, Carson Newman. First down, 10 yards to go. Bradshaw operating deep in his own territory. I'm sure he'd like to. Just got a couple of first downs and let the clock here run out because that is not a good place to be inside your own 10. Here's the give to the second man and there's not much running room in there. Carson Newman uh, had that pretty well defensed. Middle of the line, number 77 for Carson Newman uh, making the stop. And that was Dwayne Walls, but you got to give credit to the entire right-hand side of that line. The other tackle <laughs> over there, Toby Ward, was also in on it. They gave it second and seven, David. Second down, seven yards to go. 342 showing on the clock. Here's the give to the man going straight ahead. Carson Newman jumping in there, knocking him down again. First man hit was number 50. Uh, that's uh, Tim Young. Melvin Malton also in on yeah. the tackle. Tim Young, linebacker, got in underneath him. Third down, six yards to go. Wofford, they're leading 16 to three. We are counting down near the three minute mark left to go in the first half. Sweep. They're going to run wide this time, and there's not much room there. I have to give credit to one of the linebackers jumping in there, Tim Young, and on that tackle, number 50. Also, Jerome Taylor, number 88. Going back deep, number one, number 22, David. That's Ratledge uh, back there, number one, who made a nice a little return a little bit earlier. And Steve Mills is your other man. Standing on about their own 40-yard line. You realize Wofford's punted five times now? <laughs> Here's the kick. It's Off pretty deep one. Ratledge going to take it in at about the 40-yard line. Look at that wall to the right. Gets outside, knocked out of bounds at about the 45, 46-yard line. But Ratledge has shown us some excitement on those kick returns. Yes, he's quick. And uh, he went outside instead of inside that one block on the far sideline. If he... Uh, Maybe cut inside, he might have gotten a little bit more, but that's, that's hindsight. So here we go with two minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the first half. Carson Newman with the football trailing Wofford College by a score of 16 to three. Willie Nelson flanked out to the left for the Eagles. Let's see if Bell puts it up. Pitch to Williams. Williams trying to turn the corner past midfield and into Wofford territory at about the 48. It was a good run, David. 
Nice play by the linebacker Donnie Ray, number 61, who knocked Williams out of bounds. But that's about the longest run Williams has had from scrimmage all night. That's one of the best plays that uh, the Eagles have thus far. And that we got a sweep. flag on the field. Way back there on about the 40-yard line, the original line of scrimmage, and it's against Wofford. Personal foul. A personal foul against Wofford. I tell you what, these penalties are killing Wofford right now. That's the only thing that's keeping uh, Carson Newman in the ball game. I don't know where that that was on, Hal, because the flag was dropped back at the original line yeah. of scrimmage. That's the first first down for Carson Newman by way of a penalty. So the Eagles with it now, and they've got plenty of time. Two minutes and 19 seconds. They have it first down, 10 yards to go. Down to Wofford, 33-yard line. Bell dropping back, loses his footing for a moment. Throws, got a man out there. And there's another flag right back up here, and it may come back. Steve Hart catching a pass, but a flag dropped right back here at the line of scrimmage. And I think we had a little altercation between one of the Wofford players. It's going to go against Carson Newman. Martin Young, big number 73, was having uh, <clears throat> a few words with one of the guys that's right behind the scrimmage. Was that five or 15, David? Was that, it was five. Okay. So the holding call wipes out the completed pass that had moved the ball down inside the Wofford 20 yard line. 2.05 left to go in the first half. Bell, your quarterback, gives to Williams. Williams has got some daylight. Nice pickup, down to about the 27. Nice run by Williams, as that uh, kind of showed what kind of runner he is. Pickup of about 12 yards on the play. It'll be second down, we'll call it five, with 1.43 left to go in the half. Carson Newman trailing by 13 with the football. Bell is your quarterback. Fake to Williams. Pass out here, it's that same pattern again. He's got a man. Finally ridden out of bounds down there. It's hard, hard to tell. That's hard again. Yes, it is. Hard, wide open on that same pattern. It's going down about 15 yards and cutting it outside. It's a first down, second first down for the Eagles. That's the one out of three passes, David. They're marking the ball at the 19 yard line. 128 and the clock is stopped as Hart was run out of bounds over there. So Bell has come in here after Andrew's injury and has started to move the team. He's getting a little bit more confident, David. A little bit more confident. Going back to pass again. Bell's looking. Looking for a screen. Now he's going to run with it. Down to about the 15-yard line. Good move. He had nobody open, and he did the wise thing. He just tucked it down and got what he could out of it. Carson Newman, I believe, is going to call a timeout right here. <laughs> Carson Newman with a timeout right now. Most interesting uh, situation, David. Carson Newman has really not been in the ball game, and all of a sudden they're back in the ball game. Well, it looked like Wofford was going to bury him there for a while when they opened up that big 16 to nothing lead, but Carson Newman got a break on a fumble recovery. That's only uh, two first downs for the Eagles thus far, and they've both been in this quarter. The fumbles have hurt. Of course, the penalties haven't helped uh, Whopper too much. They've had over 55 yards in penalties thus far. One, two, three, four, five penalties, totaling about 55 yards, and four penalties against uh, Carson Newman, a totaling of 10, tw uh, 20 yards, and one was uh, declined. So yeah, it's been a little bit uh, rough as far as the... Uh, uh, football game is con concerned, a little bit offsides, motion, uh, illegal procedure, roughness, clipping. It's a tough league. Yes, it is. Carson Newman calling this time out. They want to make very sure of what they're doing. Ken Sparks on the <laughs> sideline over there. He had the whole team over there for this one. Second That's down, five yards to go. Carson Newman, 15-yard line. Eagles trying to put some points on the board before the half. One minute and 16 seconds is all that's showing on the first half clock. Bell, your quarterback. Yeah. Well, 
gives to Williams on the draw, and he got about three before he's knocked down in there. Jumping in there to, to get him, one of the linebackers, Barry Mason and Donnie Bay. Timeout. And Carson Newman, of course, wants to stop the clock again. Pickup of about four on the play for Williams. Third down, it'll be a yard to go. Ken Sparks over there talking to Ratledge and Bell on the sidelines. But just shy of the 10-yard line, David. If Carson Newman can push this thing in before the half, it'll give them some courage and some uh, some spit for that second half. Of course, right now, Wofford has been dominating that line of scrimmage. Well, this is a, a very crucial time for the Eagles because if they can go in 16 to 10 after the way things were going for them early, that would have to be a big confidence boost for them. They have not had a lot of offense in this first half. The best offense they've had has been the fumbles and the uh, penalties against Wofford thus far. Young Bell has come in. Uh, they lost a the quarterback last week. Andrews has been hurt off and on. He got knocked out early tonight. Bell has come in and started to move the football team. If you can get a young man moving the team like that and get some people behind him, they're starting to come off the ball a little bit better. Minute and seven seconds left. Carson Newman will have it. It'll be third down, a yard to go. They've got to get it inside the 10-yard line for a first down. People standing across the way, cheering the Eagles. Here's Williams. Williams cuts back inside. I believe he got his first down to about the eight-yard line, but he was stacked up in there. First down and goal to go, Carson Newman. Minute and two to go in the half, David. Well, Barry Mason, John Cornegie in there on the tackle of Williams, but Williams got the yardage he needed, clock moving. 59, 58 seconds. Carson Newman first and goal on the Wofford eight, trailing 16 to three. Williams and Ratledge in the backfield. Here's Bell, stand up, gonna lob it into the end zone, touchdown! Willie Nelson, number eight. Willie Nelson, a touchdown pass from Bell of eight yards, and Carson Newman is right back in the football game. They sure are. He just lofted that one up there perfectly. Bell can throw the football. Well, he's only thrown four times, and they've completed two of them. That's not bad. 500% is not bad. Carson Wop. Newman calling a timeout. I think there was a little excitement, and they didn't have enough folks on the field for the extra point. Well, they uh, took advantage of the mistakes as Wofford did earlier. Uh, Wofford took advantage of some miscues by him with 44 seconds to go. As you can see, a 16 to 9 to go to 16 to 10. That wouldn't be a bad halftime score at all. No, it wouldn't. Are they going to kick or are they going to go for two? They're going to kick. Uh, they're going to kick. Barefoot kicker. I don't understand these kids with bare feet. I... Well, that's Doug Jennings, number 13, it looks like. Yes, yes. number 13. Jennings on to attempt the extra point. I think, David, at halftime, you better go get my jacket out of the car. <laughs> I'm not climbing off here and climbing back up again. <laughs> You're not climbing up again. Your nose is bleeding. Does that say we're high? Yes, it is. There's no oxygen. Okay, they made a change on that touchdown pass. And in the list we have, they had Willie Nelson listed as number eight, but that was Brad Bell's brother, Brian. Oh, Brian Bell. Brian Bell from Brad Bell to Bar Brian Bell for the touchdown. Well, they I Switch see numbers yeah, Keith Craig over there just announced that. The PA announcer. Here's Jennings kick. It's up. It looks All good right. and it is. It's 16 to 10. So Carson Newman had a shot and they took advantage of it. A, a real nice drive that time. Well, uh, they showed some spit and uh, gumption on that one. They took the ball down there. This uh, young boy is getting more confidence as it goes along. Uh, Bell, uh, Brad Bell is really coming along. And after a few uh, juggles of a couple of handoffs, a couple of fumbles here and there, he's starting to get a handle on things now. So it's just a few seconds to go in the first half of play, 44 seconds. And it looks like we've got all our pictures back in order again, according to our director down there. That'll certainly get them up. Well, Pless is back in to kick off. He. He's been booming him deep. Best is back deep for Wofford, standing on his own goal line. Carson Newman trailing 16 to 10. 44 seconds left to go in the first half of play. It's been a long first half, David. Yes, it has. Plus the kicker. High and deep. Best at the goal line. Great three. One man to beat, but he can't do it. Out at about the 28. 
Looked like a late hit there, David. But I Plus, the kicker made the tackle on the play, and he was the last man. Let's see where they throw the ball up. He's completed three out of five, so. Well, they have a six-point lead with only 38 I don't seconds think left throw to go in the half. I don't think they'll throw it. Momentary timeout. They forgot to pick up the tee off, off the 40-yard <laughs> line back here. One of the officials noticed it. 38 seconds left. Bradshaw, the quarterback, man in motion. Bradshaw's dropping back to run the draw play. Oh, wow. Good hit. What a good nice hit. hit for Carson Newman, number 12, one of the defensive backs coming up there. That was Mike Sturgill. Lamar Brown of Brady, too. Huh? Well, it, is. it was 82 instead of 12. Right. There you see our live eye Metro van. Yes. Here's the give once again, just straight up the, up the middle to Lang. Lang moves it out for a yard or so. Seven seconds. They're just going to let the clock run out. And we had a pretty exciting first half. It sure was. So with the score at halftime, Wofford 16, Carson Newman 10. We'll be back with more after these messages. This week, Food City has great buys on health and beauty aids and lots of household products, too, like Vanity Fair paper towels, absorbent, and a real value at two rolls for 88 cents. Get long-lasting suds and softer hands with ivory liquid. Food City's price, 99 cents for a 22-ounce bottle. Your bathroom deserves a blue ribbon, soft blue ribbon tissue, that is. A four-roll package is now just 69 cents. At Food City, you get great buys on food and a whole lot more. Tell your friends. Tis the season to give a fox that J.C. Penny shirt with the same look, same fabric, same fit as its higher-priced competitor. The fox comes in a forest full of untamed colors. The fox is versatile, adapting to any environment. The fox is easy, needing minimal care. And there's a fox for women, too. The sleek, sophisticated J.C. Penny fox. What a cunning gift idea. See you later, alligator. Well, back here at Burke Tar Field, we have an almost capacity house watching Wofford and Carson Newman, and the score at halftime is Wofford 16 and Carson Newman 10. I will have the stats for you in the first half. Uh, they'll be ringing over from the press box momentarily. We will tell you, however, that we have a, a fine halftime performance, a little bit of a drum cadence, and after that, we're going to have the marching Carson Newman Eagles and an evening showcase of Grammy award-winning music for the halftime enjoyment. Uh, they'll have music, Birdland, and they'll give it, give it all you've got. And uh, maybe if we can get off this perch up here, David, I'd like to talk to uh, uh, Dr. Maddox, uh, Dr. Cordell Maddox, about their uh, big Vision 80 Carson Newman campaign for greatness in which they're underway right now and uh, uh, getting finances and uh, things squared away for this fine Baptist college up here in Jefferson City. Let's listen, let, listen to the band right now and enjoy them.
our major residents for this year are Miss Melissa Presley from Ben Hur, Virginia, Miss Tina Atkins from Marshall, Tennessee, Miss Lisa Lester from Big Stone Gap, Virginia, Miss Cynthia Johnson from Jacksonville, Florida, and our head major is Miss Tina Griezmann from Athens, Tennessee. These young ladies will now perform to a number written by Chuck Manchione entitled Give It All You Got. This music was written especially for the 1980 Winter Olympics and was another highlight of this year's Grammy Awards. at halftime, the score, Walker 16, Carson Newman 10, and uh, well, it was kind of a strange first half, Wofford jumping on a couple of fumbles deep in Carson Newman territory early, turning those into touchdowns, they added a safety, and then Carson Newman coming back to get 10 points on the board in the final moments of the first half. So the score 16 to 10, Wofford over Carson Newman, we'll be back with more after these messages. It's a magical world that only Disney can create. It's the world premiere of Disney's World on Ice, a new dimension in family entertainment, now at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum through this Sunday, September 27th. See Mickey Mouse and all your fun-loving Disney friends live in person, skating with Olympic silver medalist Linda Fradiani and a host of world-class skaters. For the most thrilling, fun-filled entertainment for your entire family, be sure to see Disney's World on Ice. It takes about two weeks to select just the right automobile, about three hours to arrange the financing and paperwork, and about 30 seconds for it to be stolen. Contact your local law enforcement agency to learn how to protect your automobile against theft and get a WTVK Operation Crime Lock information card to record any suspicious activity in your neighborhood. Working together, we can lock the door on crime. Carson Newman Band marching towards us here on the far side of the field across from the press box. Let's go back and listen to some more music.
Okay, down on the stands right now below our vantage point here, Hal Wanzer is along with Dr. Cordell Maddox, the president of Carson Newman College. So let's go to Hal. Well, there's some of your halftime activities right with us right now is Dr. Maddox, the president of Carson Newman College, and Rob Clark from the Public Relations Department. Dr. Maddox, uh, we're going to talk a little bit with, about your campaign, but uh, we might to make a little comment on tonight's game before we get into that. <laughs> well, it's a great game. Of course, Walford's got a great football team. Uh, when I was back in college uh, 30 years ago, I played Walford four times, and they're always uh, a, a great football team. And they are, it's, it, we're lucky to be only six points behind. And, uh, of course, we gave them two touchdowns and those two fumbles. So I think we're playing extremely well, and uh, and we got a chance. So I, I Well, you played at Wake Forest, didn't you? Yeah, I played Furman. Furman? Furman. Yeah. Furman. Well, I thought you were going to suit up there for a little while. Uh, <laughs> last game I played was against Wake Forest. We beat them two points. <laughs> All right. I, I wouldn't have mentioned it if we hadn't won. <laughs> well, Rob, what about your uh, Vision 80 campaign? How's it going, and how long is it supposed to last? Well, it's going very well, Hal, and uh, we're... We're scheduled to run through mid-1983. It's a series of campaigns, private sector campaigns, and uh, we've just concluded trustees, faculty, staff, and board of trustees. Our alumni association is organizing for their campaign. Morristown has just agreed to have theirs. Jefferson City is winding its down, Jefferson County. And to date, we've raised about $2.3 million. We will go on to the Tri-Cities, down to Chattanooga, and when the World's Fair is over, in order to not upstage them, we're going to come back to Knoxville and have a campaign there. Of course, our, our goal is 2.5 million base goal, and our challenge goal of 4 million. So we're running a little ahead of schedule. We're real pleased with that. You got uh, Tipton out of town trying to scrounge some more up. Is that where he is? Yeah, I, th I think he's over on the other side, uh, very nervous right now. Well, I, I, I know that it's been an interesting evening for you with us being over here interrupting everything and getting uh, television timeouts must have driven some of these people crazy. We've got a pretty good crowd on hand, and we wish you well in the second half. Well, you? thank you, and we appreciate so much the coverage and Channel 26, and it's just been it's tremendous for us, and we appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Rob, for coming by and talking to us. Thank you, Dr. Maddox. Right, Go on back you. and root uh, the Eagles on. Thank you very right, much. Right, well, we're going back up to the booth here in a moment or so. We should have the stats coming to you in the first half, but uh, thus far... Uh, the Eagles really had to suck it up to get back in this ball game, and they're only down by a score of 16 to 10 at the halftime. David, uh, I guess we're back up to you. Okay, we do have those official first half statistics on tonight's game. Uh, really, it's pretty even. The score is 16 to 10. Wofford uh, leading Carson Newman. First downs. Uh, Wofford has only managed five. Carson Newman just three. So you can see the defense is definitely dominated. Uh, as far as rushing is concerned, uh, Wofford has 94 yards to 68 for Carson Newman. Uh, very little passing, 22 yards in passing for the Eagles, 13 for the Terriers. Uh, total yards so far this evening, 107 for Wofford to just 90 for Carson Newman. So neither team actually burning it up out there. Uh, as far as fumbles lost, that's been a key statistic. Both teams have recovered two of the opposition's fumbles. Carson Newman's dropped it three times. They got it back once. And as far as penalties are concerned, uh, this probably had a lot to do with Carson Newman getting back in the game. Four penalties for 45 yards for Wofford. Only three penalties totaling 15 yards for the Eagles. So there you have it. 16 to 10. Wofford in front of Carson Newman. And we'll be back with more after these messages. The environment, your job, local government, the economy, entertainment, recreation, everything that affects your day-to-day -day living covered professionally and accurately each night on Metro 26 News. Weeknights with Art Powell, Adele Arakawa, and David Shirk. On weekends, Jim Hampton, Kathy Norton, and David Sharp. Backed by a team of dedicated reporters with your interests in mind. They bring you straightforward, no-nonsense journalism that's got our area covered. And watch us cover it live. Metro News is still Knoxville's leader in live coverage. Our special live eye.